Hello, my friend, and welcome to Wisdom Trek. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, your guide to wisdom and creating a living legacy. Thank you for joining us on our five-day-per-week wisdom and legacy-building podcast. This is day 693 of our trek, and time for our Philosophy Friday series. Each Friday, we will ponder some of the basic truths and mysteries of life and how they can impact us in creating our living legacy. We are focusing on how to live with less fear. We are exploring the trails in our trek of life that will help us to be fearless. This does not imply that we will reach a point where we are completely without fear, for that is not only impossible, but also not wise. There is a time and a place for an appropriate level of fear, but most of the fears that we experience on a daily basis have no grounding and can be eliminated as we grow in wisdom, insight, and understanding. So our objective is to experience a fearless Friday on our trek of life. Today on our trek, we will explore how to stand in the face of fear. We are broadcasting from our studios at the Big House in Marietta, Ohio. Our granddaughter Hazel, who is battling leukemia, will have to delay her treatments this week as her immune system count needs to rebound a bit more. Her appointment for the next round of chemo and steroids has been postponed for one week. She will have an additional blood test this week to verify where her immune system level stands. We are praying that it rebounds sufficiently so they can proceed with her regimen. As we battle this cancer with her, if we are not careful and trust in God for effective healing, then the monsters of fear and doubt will suddenly creep back into our minds and try to destroy us. Today on our trek, we will continue to explore how we need to be in a continual mind shift mode so that we can, on a daily basis, be standing in the face of fear. Fear ignites in us the natural response to run, which is called the flight instinct. This is especially true when we cannot control the situation. When we have no opportunity for flight, as in the case of most fearful situations, then the fight instincts kicks in so that we can move forward and deal with that fear. We cannot always conquer fear, but we can fight to keep it controlled. God desires for us to fight and move forward, overcoming our fear. A clear example of this was when Pharaoh and his armies were chasing the children of Israel after the Exodus and when they were hemmed in by the Red Sea. The story is found in Exodus chapter 14, verses 10 through 15. As Pharaoh approached, the people of Israel looked up and panicked when they saw the Egyptians overtaking them. They cried out to the Lord, and they said to Moses, Why did you bring us out here to die in this wilderness? Weren't there enough graves in Egypt? What have you done to us? Why did you make us leave Egypt? Didn't we tell you that this would happen while we were still in Egypt? We said, Leave us alone. Let us be slaves to the Egyptians. It is better to be a slave in Egypt than a corpse in the wilderness. But Moses told the people, Don't be afraid. Just stand and watch the Lord rescue you today. The Egyptians you see today will never be seen again. The Lord himself will fight for you. Just stay calm. Then the Lord said to Moses, Why are you crying out to me? Tell the people to get moving. When faced with the fear of death from Pharaoh and the impossible task of crossing the Red Sea in front of them, the Israelites responded naturally, in the same way that we would. They wanted to run back to Egypt. They wished they had never left. Suddenly, the pains of slavery faded in their minds. Our minds have the uncanny ability to settle for known misery opposed to the unknown. When we are faced with trials of life that we must overcome in order to move forward, we feel and act the same way. We settle for second best when we realize that excelling would just be too difficult and causes us fear. We will never excel if we choose not to overcome fear and uncertainty. The first step of overcoming fear in the face of impossible circumstances is to realize that these feelings are in our minds and it is time for a mind shift. It is not just self-doubt, but also the fear of the unknown. Your first step is to recognize the voice of fear when you hear it. It is that voice in your mind trying to get you to turn back to your Egypt. We need to ignore the voice that is based on fear. It has been said, life begins at the end of your comfort zone. If we continue to live just within our area of comfort, then our lives will never improve and we will not reach our God-given potential. If you are fearful of moving out of your current situation, it will not lessen the fear, but it will allow it to grow into a monster that will become much more difficult to conquer. Fear is a demon that slowly entraps you, taking away your freedom a little piece at a time until you are caged in an ever-shrinking jail cell. Unless you push past the comfort zone that fear creates, you will find yourself in a prison that is difficult to break free from. There is no comfort in the comfort zone, 
So when you are faced with fear of things going wrong outside your comfort zone, don't panic and revert to your old habits. Recognize fear for what it is and that it wants to enslave you. Recognize the fear that wants to make you turn and run. As we read in Exodus, stand your ground, trust in the Lord, and ask Him for strength to move forward. Once they stood their ground and faced their fear, God told them to get moving. Even though they were still fearful, when the Israelites took their first steps as God had commanded, God opened up the sea with a rush of wind and the Israelites had a mind shift. It did require action on their part. For God to display His mighty power, they had to get close to the water and Moses had to lift his rod and stretch his hand over the water. In the same way, we must stand and face our fears and then take action and get moving. It is through the trials on our trek of life where we need to trust God to deliver us when everything seems impossible. It is then that we can hold fast to what the prophet Isaiah told us in Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10. Don't be afraid, for I am with you. Don't be discouraged, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will hold you up in my victorious right hand. Next Fearless Friday, we'll explore the power to act in spite of fear. I know that you'll find these insights interesting and profitable in living a rich and satisfying life. Our next trek is Mindshift Monday, where we will help you to live differently by thinking differently. So I encourage your friends and family to join us and to come along with us on Monday for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. If you'd like to listen to any of the past daily treks or read their associated journals, they are all available at wisdom-trek.com. You can also subscribe to iTunes from Google Play so that each day's trek will be downloaded to you automatically. And thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly, I am your friend as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal. And as we take this trek of life together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and then leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and then create a great day every day. See you on Monday.